Good morning. Good morning from this little town that I cannot pronounce. I'm going to post it right here so that maybe somebody can help me pronounce it. Because every time I tried, it didn't work. It's uh, just before noon and we're just about to check out and get a bite to eat somewhere up here and eventually make our way to make our way to the bus stop and head back to Mexico City which is about a two hour drive. So far I haven't seen much of this little place. I guess that is the historical zone right there. I didn't get to it. Uh, so I can't tell you what it's like. But, you know, it's cool. It just happened to be a town I had to be in. I'm not really sure of its significance. Definitely not a tourist traveler type of town because I haven't seen a single uh, foreigner since I've been here. It's warm today. It's a little warmer down here. Mexico City is cooler. And you can see the, the hills. You can see the hills out, maybe in the horizon. And this is where we're staying. Hotel de Chau, Chautla, Chautla. But that's not how you pronounce it. I tried that, but nobody understood it. But that's the town we're in, Chautla. So, um, come along with us. This is day five, my last day here, and uh, see what happens. There's quite a few activities I plan. We'll see if they materialize. I think I showed you what we ate. It's actually not bad. Not a bad place if you're here in this town. La Caparosa. Capri Osa. Capri Osa. Yeah, very cool place. Has nice decor. I mean, I don't think there's a lot of places here that are like this. I don't know. I haven't seen much of this town, so I can't tell um, what they got here. But it was good. You know, prices were average. I think you notice that prices are more or less average all, unless you're eating on the street or a really high-end place, all the prices are gonna be average in Mexico. So, uh, chilaquiles, about 150 pesos. Burritos, omelets are gonna be about anywhere from 100 to 145 pesos. Coffees are about 150 pesos, like a latte. Juices are around 80 pesos, so that's what you're gonna find here on average. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for Ashley. She's checking out all the dresses here. And uh, yeah, our next stop will be the bus station. Head back to Mexico City. It's actually pretty warm here. Much cooler in Mexico City. You don't see all these little shops back in uh, Toronto or in the US. These sort of little boutique shops where they make their own dresses. There's a big deal here when you turn 16. There's like a sweet 16 kind of event 
where you dress up and you know your parents buy you a dress and you get your photos taken it's a big deal the sweet the sweet 16 uh, thing when you I guess technically become a woman and I guess you're eligible for marriage and you got to look good so they dress you up in one of these dresses and uh, do a little photo shoot anyway let's go see what there is to see I guess they just locked me out. I'm with Ashley. Where are you? Well, as chicas. This is high security, man. Ooh, look at these. Wow. This place is huge. I've never seen so many dresses in all my life. Oh my god. Do you like it? Do you like the vestidos? Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess this is a thing here. You get dressed up. Look at this one, all red. White. Is it for casement, or no? For the casar, for no? This looks like wedding dresses. Wow. Mr. Necesito. Trying on dresses. Ashley is, um, I think I told you she's, will be in a beauty contest on the 27th of September and she needs, she needs some kind of dress for some event. Yeah, she's just trying some on here. I've never seen so many dresses in all of So I think Ashley has found the dress that she's going to choose and she's just trying it on. So, um, let's see what it looks like. I think it looks good actually, but I'll let you be the judge. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. And the color is tonic. 
Sí. There you have it. The green wins. What do you guys think? Green? Let me know in the comments. Pero sale justo en la esquina, no donde está la otra. Entonces nos deja aquí a una cuadra. A una cuadra, sí. Sí, está aquí. ¿Cuánto es? So we just got out of the cab because of the big traffic jam. It was just going to take way too long, so we're going to walk it. some of the interesting street life here in this little town.
¿Cómo se llama? ¿Tamales? ¿Este de qué le dijo? De dulce, de ciruela le puse uno y uno de piña. ¿Sí? ¿Otro? Uno de ciruela. Uno de ciruela. Me puso uno y uno, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. ¿Cuatro nada más? ¿O le dos? Sí. ¿Cuánto? Sí. ¿Cuánto es? 40. So we just got some tamales for the road. So we're just about to board the bus here in uh, town in New Mexico. And this is actually very common that they check your bags before you board. Uh, there are security checks here, obviously, for uh, maybe prohibited goods or things you shouldn't be taking with you. Uh, but they do check your bag. They don't do it very thoroughly. Uh, it's a very quick search for me anyways. But just keep in mind that if you're going to take a bus here in Mexico, you're going to get frisked. Well, we're off to Mexico City. And I'm just eating my taco. So, to our right. Thankfully, this bus is air conditioned. And, uh, see you in Mexico. And as you can see, we're in a traffic jam. There's a lot of traffic in this town. There's a lot of traffic around Mexico City to begin with. Quite a bit. Puede uh, la música más baja, un poco. Sí. Uh, well, I'm I'm done. This is the end of day five. It's about just 8:30 on my way to the airport. Catching a flight at 11. Yeah, it was a very exciting five days. It went by very quickly. And I don't know what to say. It's another, another adventure. Another adventure, but uh, now I have to return. I wish I was going somewhere else, but going back home for now. I'm running out of batteries really fast, so I'm going to